Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Anime Character Arisa, or Arisa. I guess it depends how you want to pronounce it. Let's take a look. So I'm not really someone who is into anime. I used to be a long time ago, uh, but now it's not really my sort of thing. However, this character drew me in for some reason, and I wasn't disappointed. So the quality overall is pretty generic. I mean, it's not too overly detailed, but to be honest, it's not that bad. There are worse models out there. It's quite nice. It's well designed. It looks okay. I can't see any obvious problems with it, and everything seems to be in order, so it's all good. Quantity-wise, this is where it kind of shines a little bit. So obviously we've got this demo scene here. Always love the demo scene. Uh, we do get animations with it as well, but the one thing that really kind of pulled me in here is the fact that this character is 100% controllable. There is scripts attached to it to let the character walk around and also do various different things. You can shift around to the front, make her do different animations. A couple of animations here, so it's all good to see. All nice and smooth. Um, so if we go to it and have a look at the animator, we can see it's all good. It looks really good. So I think quantity-wise, there is quite a bit here. I'm quite impressed with how much there is. It's not just an anime character. There's a controller in here. There's animations, there's scripts. Everything's really, really good. So I think more than anything, if we look at the Asset Store page, it doesn't quickly describe itself as having animations per se. It's just the anime character, which, yeah, fair enough. So I'm going to class the animations and scripts and all that as some extras there. So I think that's really, really good. So how customizable is this? Well, it's rigged as a humanoid, so that means you can easily manipulate the animations, you can attach the animations that you have. It, it, it's easy to use. Um, one thing I would say, though, is if, uh, well, I always say when it comes to um, cameras, try some post-processing just to see how it looks and what kind of style you can have here. So a little bit of pro post-processing can really shine here. It can really bring out the anime style a lot more than you would expect just from let's say the standard post processing as we can see it looks rather generic there but a bit of post processing really adds the animation style now to me that looks like something you'd see from perhaps the tales series of more recent years which yeah it's fairly decent so we'll always kind of play around with that and never be afraid to play around with the materials as well so obviously each material here we can manipulate and play around with. So we can give her a bright red face if we want to make a kind of a devilish person, I don't know. Uh, but you can play around with uh, perhaps the uniform as well. Again, it's just all about playing around with the materials, perhaps editing, changing, even maybe changing textures. So for example, let's um, let's take a look at the face facial texture, which we had just a moment ago in the materials. And you could, for example, change it to albedo and add a normal map if you wanted to. Let's try that. Uh, so let's bring in a normal map and fix it. Play around with it. You can see it looks more like uh, some, well, some kind of cyborg now. So that's the level of customization that you could use here. You're not restricted to just what you bring in from this package. I always encourage you to do whatever you can to customize it because you'll get more out of that uh, asset than anything again if we just cool now it's all black so it looks like a completely different character in some ways now because we've just slightly modified it so it is versatile in that sense and it is easy to use and it's very customizable because you can do stuff like that usefulness Again, I think the usefulness is really high with this one, especially for beginners, because it gives you an opportunity to bring in a character which is just instantly usable. And you can just bring it in, and there you go. You've got your character. Play around, move around. It's brilliant. So I think that's really, really good. Folders all neatly laid out. Good to see. Everything in there. You can even play around with the animations. Play with the scripts if you need to. Make her run faster, slower, whatever. There's the animations. All great. Well, I love it. Absolutely love it. So size-wise, it is 18 meg, which is really good. Really, really good. I think if you're aiming for maybe a mobile device, it might be a tad too high. But again, I guess it depends what type of game you're trying to make here. But I think 18 megabytes for this is a good size. And obviously, it is also free. Always love to see free assets like this because they're high quality in some respect. Obviously, not the highest possible quality you can get. But for it being free, it's well worth it. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets, either recommend them or I don't. 
this one I would absolutely recommend, at least to beginners who just want to learn a little bit of level design and have a character wander around through. That it's going to be perfect for beginners, even intermediate, even advanced people if they just want an extra little character in the background. So yeah, I would recommend this character for a multitude of projects. So guys, do you have an asset on the asset store? If you do, let me know, link me to it, I'd love to check it out. And if you've used this asset yourself, please let me know what you think of it. It's really creepy there, what we've done with her. Yeah, let me know and uh, what you've used her for in your game. And yeah, finally guys, don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with every video I upload, including tutorials, these reviews, Unity games. It's, it'll help me out a lot, really would. So guys, until the next video, See you around.